Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is 3 raised to the power of square root of m. This is equal to 36 over m. So what is the value of m? Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have 3 raised to the power of square root of m. This is equal to 36 over m. So 3 to the power of square root of m, this is our whole number, so this is over 1. The next step is to cross multiply from here. So that now we have 3 to the power of square root of m multiplied by m. This is equal to 1 times 36. So we have 3 raised to the power of square root of m multiplied by m. This is equal to 36. Now, the next step from here, let's introduce a square root on both sides. So that now, here we have the square root of m multiplied by 3 to the power of square root of m. This is equal to square root of 36, which is equal to 6. The next step is that the square root of m times 3 raised to the power of square root of m. This is in the form of square root of a multiplied by b, which we can express as square root of a times square root of b. Now, applying this property, then here we have the square root of m multiplied by square root of 3 raised to the power of square root of m. This is equal to 6. Now, the next step from here, we have the square root of m multiplied by, we can express the square root of 3 to the power of square root of m as 3, raised to the power of square root of m, raised to the power of a half. Remember square root of a, this is the same thing as a to the power of a half. So that's why we have 3 raised to the power of square root of m, raised to the power of a half, this is equal to 6. Now, we have that 3 to the power of square root of m raised to the power of a half. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a raised to the power of n multiplied by m. So this implies that here we have square root of m into the parentheses. We have 3 raised to the power of square root of m over 2. Now, this is equal to 6. Now, this implies that we have square root of m multiplied by 3 to the power of square root of m over 2. This is equal to 6. We can express 6 as 2 multiplied by 3. The next step is to divide both signs by 2. We can divide here by 2. So, 2 and 2 here simplifies. So that we have here square root of m over 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of square root of m over 2. This is equal to 3. Now, the next step from here, we have that. Let's introduce the exponent property. We can express x as exponent e to the power of ln of x. Now, the same thing we can express 3. This is the same thing as exponent e to the power of ln of 3. So, let's substitute 3 with exponent e to the power of ln of 3. So that now, here we have square root of m divided by 2 multiplied by exponent e to the power of square root of m over 2 multiplied by ln of 3. This is equal to 3. Now, 3, this we are saying that we can express as exponent e to the power of ln of 3. So we have here square root of m over 2 multiplied by exponent e to the power of square root of m over 2, ln of 3. This is equal to ln of 3. The next step, let's multiply both signs by ln of 3 so that we have here square root of m over 2 ln of 3 
multiplying by exponent e to the power of square root of m over 2 ln of 3. This is equal to, we have ln of 3 multiplying by exponent e to the power of ln of 3. The next step, by applying by applying the Lampant W function, by applying the Lampant W function, that states that if you have the W function of A multiplying by exponent E to the power of A, this is the same thing as A. So let's apply the W function on both sides so that we have the W function of the square root of M over 2 ln of 3 multiplying by exponent e to the power of square root of m over 2 ln of 3 cross the parentheses this is equal to the w function of ln of 3 multiplying by exponent e to the power of ln of 3 so from what we have here this part is the same thing as a and also this part is the same thing as a when you check on the right hand side we have that this part is the same thing as a and we have that the, the exponent here ln of 3 this is the same thing as a so this means that on the left hand side we have square root of m over 2 ln of 3 this is equal to ln of 3 so this means that we can divide both sides by ln of 3 and also here we have ln of 3 now let's simplify ln of 3 and ln of 3 here. So we have the square root of m over 2. This is equal to 1. Let's multiply both sides by 2. So that now we have here square root of m. This is equal to, to 2. Now to eliminate the square root sign here, let's square on both sides. So that now. Here we have m is equal to 2 raised to the power of 2. This is 4. So we have the value of m equal to 4. Now the next step is to verify here. So let's verify that this value of m satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, if you recall, we end that 3 to the power of square root of m. This is equal to that the 6 divided by m so let's substitute the value of m in this equation here so we have 3 raised to the power of square root of m which is 4 this is equal to 36 divided by 4 now we have that the square root of 4 this is the same thing as 2 so we have 3 to the power of 2 this is equal to 36 divided by 4 this is the same thing as 9 so we have on the right hand side 9 3 squared, this is 9, which is equal to 9. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that the value of m, which is equal to 4, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe, please. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.